So the iOS 16 is coming in a few days that is on June 6. And awesome news is we now have the official list of changes coming with this new iOS iteration. So iOS 16's main focus is more towards navigation, health, communication and of course privacy. Here yeah, unlike Pixel OS, Apple is not focusing on looks of an interface but some main changes which are going to help users. So the first feature coming in is door detection. This will help users with low sight to locate doors and the surroundings like any sign or shop name or if it is open or closed and how far they are from that shop. You guys can see in this official video how this is gonna work. Close door 8 feet away. Text. Muffin to write home about bakery. Second feature coming in is Apple Watch mirroring. So now you guys can control and see the interface of your Apple Watch in your iPhone. The Apple Watch is also getting some new changes like double pinch to pick up or end call or to see notifications or to play or pause media. The third change is something you might have seen in Pixel or Samsung phone that is live caption. Yes guys, live caption is finally coming to iOS and this is how it is gonna work. So you guys can use it on FaceTime or calls or watching any audio video content. Like I myself use it on Pixel and it works so good while watching videos or while talking to someone else. The voiceover is getting 20 new languages like Bengali, Ukrainian and Vietnamese. The next feature is Buddy Controller. This will allow you to help someone playing video games. So a single input, single player but you can use your iPhone to help someone who is not able to control some part of joystick or play game properly. So a nice initiative and yet yeah, these are some official main changes coming in. Can see most of these features are already there in the Pixel phone. Now yeah of course the iOS 16 will have some interface changes as well like some changes in quick settings, some new widgets and new wallpaper picker interface. There's gonna be some major changes in the lock screen and there's a new wallpaper coming in which is gonna show some information like maybe your time spent on your phone. Apple is also focusing on some health features like bedtime and some new changes in the focus mode. This is the list of iPhone devices getting iOS 16 includes iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 8 and all the way up to the latest iPhone 13 Pro Max and iPhone SE 3rd Gen. The iOS 16 developer beta is expected to drop on June 6 and public beta may hit in July. So this all guys, thanks so much for watching. Which OS you think is the best, iOS or Google's Android? Your thoughts in the comment section below and I'll meet you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe and peace out.